Hey guys, so today I'm taking it back to the old school Lulu days. If you've been watching me for years, I think back in 2012-ish, I used to do car boot sale hauls and you guys absolutely loved them. I get messages all the time asking me to come back and do car boot sale hauls. So here I am. So I recently moved to Brighton from Hertfordshire and the difference in the quality of the stuff at the car boot sales is actually unreal and there's so many cooler sellers down here like there's so many cool old hippies and camper vans and just like really cool people selling cool stuff compared to the ones i used to go to yeah it wasn't really many cool people so it was a bit of a miracle if i did manage to pick up something pretty nice but yeah every week i get so much good stuff at the car boot sales it's really hard not to spend hundreds of pounds every week. So the car boot sales in Brighton, I have been to, I've only been to three so far. I know there are quite a lot more around this area, but because I haven't been here long, I haven't discovered them yet. But I go to, there's one at the Brighton Marina, which starts, so I usually get there for about seven o'clock in the morning. And then the one at the race course, you can get in there from 8.30. That's a really good one. I always get lots of good stuff from there. And then I also go to one in Sayers Common, which is like 15 minutes drive north of Brighton, because I've started buying lots of homework as well so I tend to get lots of good homeware at that one so I thought I would share with you some bits that I picked up recently I bought so much recently in the last few weeks but I've just picked out my favorite bits to show you guys so yeah let's do it so firstly some products I'm a bit skeptical with buying products at car boot sales obviously I wouldn't buy like used lipsticks or stuff like that that's been like properly used on someone but creams and foundations are usually fine I usually only buy brand new makeup if I find something that's been lightly used and it's like a moisturizer or a toner or a cleanser or something um, I tend to pick it up got the Liz Earl hot cloth cleanser yesterday I've heard so much so many good things about this cleanser and it was she had a box and they were all brand new for five pounds each. I should have bought more to be fair, but I've never used it before. So I just wanted to try it out first. And then from another lady, I got the Liz Earl Skin Repair Moisturizer. This is pretty much brand new. I've used it a couple of times since I got it. But yeah, it was pretty much full tub and that cost two pounds. And then I also got this was brand new and sealed when I bought it a week ago. So I've used a little bit of it. But I got the Pixie Glow Tonic Toner, which is supposed to be amazing. I've seen loads of other YouTubers use this. So I was really excited to try this out for cheap because I know these are quite expensive. A couple more skin bits. I got two brand new NARS products. So the Aqua Gel Luminous Mask and the Hydrating Glow Tint. These were £2 each. And then from the same lady, I also got Laura Mercier Flora Skin Drops. I know some people would probably be a lot probably be um, put off by the fact that it's used but I think it's fine if it hasn't if it's products like this that haven't actually been like touched the skin or anything then there's no reason for you not to buy it for two pounds and I'm a thrifty girl I don't want to pay full price for expensive makeup when I do see it at the car boot sales I always pick it up because it's nice to try it out and if it is good if it turns out to be good then maybe I will splash out full price on it but I wouldn't want to pay full price and then not actually like the product I got a HD Brows palette, uh, it's the Contour and Colour Pro palette and this is brand new, completely unused. Can't remember how much this was, I got this a couple of weeks ago but I wouldn't have paid more than like £2 for it. And then I got Illamasqua highlighter which is completely brand new and my highlighter's just run out so I was excited to find this. So I always, always look out for vintage jewellery and I picked up some really cute earrings, um, I'm just going to zoom in firstly i got this don't watch the nails my nails have fallen off <laughs> this gold necklace with little rainbow crystals in it was one pound and this one i got yesterday with all of these earrings so i got six pairs of earrings and one necklace and it cost me two pounds for the lot so i got these little parrot earrings these gold hoops i don't know if that's focused i can't see i'm blinded by the light oh there we go these gold earrings these little gold hoops and these are my favourite ones. These little gold clip-ons with little hearts on them. They're really cute. So I'm going to show you some of the clothes that I bought now. Firstly, this vintage shirt, which I absolutely love. This cost me one pound. One whole pound. Yeah, it's just very cool. I really like the colours. Yeah, so I'll be styling this up on my Instagram soon. That was 
an absolute bargain. Bailey really likes this, he wishes it was in his size. So this little baby is one of my favourite finds ever actually. It's a little vintage machino bag, I'm not sure if it's authentic, but yeah, it's a really cute little handbag. So this little baby cost me two whole pounds and I'm absolutely in love. I haven't actually used it yet, I'm gonna make an effort to um, use it this week because I love it. Next find, which is probably one of my best finds ever from a car boot sale, is these. I don't know how to say the label correctly. Um, Mason Marg Margiela. These unreal graffiti print jeans. I've tried to find them online and I can only find... I can find the print but on different pieces. So I found the jacket and the tracksuit bottoms online. But I can't find these denim pair of jeans anywhere to find out how much they're actually worth. But yeah, I think they're worth quite a lot. They're really long, really wide leg with the coolest print. So yeah, I'm absolutely obsessed with these. Yeah, I think they're worth quite a lot. And I bought these for four pounds. I got it from a lady who all she does is sell clothes. She's there every week. So I think she must do like house clearance or something, something similar. Cause she clearly didn't know what the brand was. So they were just in a big pile of jeans. So these were an absolute bargain. I'm so pleased with these. I can't wait to style these up. And from the same lady, same pile of jeans, I got these lazy oafs, which are so cute. Spotty print jeans, super high-waisted. They're my size, well, they're size 30. So they're a little bit too big, but I do like my jeans a bit baggy. So I love those. Next I got these, they are uh, the labels BDG by Urban Outfitters um, and they're the dad shaped jeans. Nothing too special but I just really like the cut of them. These would just be cool to style up with like a sassy tee. They cost me, how much were they? I think they were £1, I got them yesterday. So yesterday I picked up this super cute jacket and it says Toys R Us. The Toys R Us actually went bust in the UK, so they've closed down now, so this is quite a special piece. Quite nostalgic, so I used to love going there as a child. This cost me, I think this was like £3. And from the same girl, I got these just basic vintage denim shorts, but I just thought they were a really nice shape and they look like they'll fit me perfectly. They'll be cute for, I'm going travelling again in January, so I thought they would be a good pair of travelling shorts. The next two pieces, well, next two pairs of shoes weren't actually from car boot sales, but they're still thrifty fine so I got these from a charity shop and I'm absolutely obsessed with them I've actually never heard of this brand before but look at these platforms oh my god I'm in love I'm actually obsessed with them they're proper chunky wumper stomper shoes oh my god they're so cool so the brand is bunker and I can't actually find these online anywhere so I'm not sure how much they're worth but I paid 20 pounds I think or 20 or 25 pounds for these in British Red Cross charity shop in Hove. Hove's really good for charity shops. Um, I usually take a scoot down there like every week or so and go and yeah check out the charity shops. Um, I do prefer car boot sales because they're so much cheaper but you do find gems like this in the charity shop sometimes so it is worth checking them out. These are one of my favourite finds so I've wanted a pair of new rock boots which are like super chunky goth boots they're so cool i've wanted some for ages but they're very expensive they're like 300 pounds to buy new which is ridiculous and my best friend tiger she found some on facebook marketplace of all places and she got a pair from this lady and then completely forgot to tell me that the lady actually had another pair for sale so she had a size six and a size seven pair i am a size six but i ended up buying the size seven pair anyway oh look at these oh my god they're so cool I've wanted some of these for so long. They're so good for festivals, for winter. They're super, super, super heavy. Really, really high quality. Oh my God, they're so heavy. Covered in loads of metal hardware. So I bought these from a lady from Facebook Marketplace for 40 pounds. And she lives literally five minutes from my house. Yay! So I went and picked them up yesterday. Facebook Marketplace is a really good place to find. Um, I usually just buy a homeware on there, like furniture and stuff. But um, yeah, I didn't even think to look on there for clothes and shoes. So yes, I would recommend looking on there to get a bargain. I bought a few other bits from there. Oh, what did we get from there? I got a TV cabinet from there for like 20 quid because it's all done like locally. So you just put in your location. So I just find like if I find a piece of furniture like five minutes from my house, I can just go and pick it up instantly. And yeah, it's super cheap. Also, I've become a crazy plant lady recently. So here are some of the plants I got. So I got this one the other day last week for two pounds from the boot sale can't tell you what they're called because i have no idea um i got three i can't carry them all but i got three little succulents for one pound fifty each i'm officially a crazy plant lady um i got this really cute one um this was i think it was like four pounds 
and the pot was I believe it was 50p or one pound from a different seller and then I've wanted one of these Chinese money plants for so long they're so pretty they're just so instagrammable this cost me this one was actually a fiver but I have one and they're quite rare so and I have wanted one for ages so yeah I splashed out a little bit on that one and then I got an aloe vera plant this was £2.50 and the pot was I can't remember probably a couple of pounds so yeah I'm loving buying plants recently I'm not very good at keeping them a lot of them tend to die but I'm really trying my best so that is the end of the haul I hope you enjoyed this video I'm gonna start trying to do these weekly if I get enough things at the boot sale every week so maybe every week or every other week I'll do a car boot sale haul because I really want to get back into these I really love thrifting it's my literally my passion and I know you guys like watching them so yeah so thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next one bye <laughs>